Okay, good morning, welcome. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Uh, for those of you who have been to events that we've run before, you, you know this is something that we regularly do. There's lots of uh, technology out there in the world and I think it moves at an uh, ever-increasing pace. So uh, we see that as part of our role, is really to share uh, the art of the possible um, and, uh, and really bring people together and talk about best practice and, uh, and what's being done in the industry. Now, how are people using technology uh, to improve the way in which they work and they uh, they, 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 uh, they serve customers and uh, today's event is around contact center it's uh, uh, titled the universal agent and I think that's really reflective of uh, the way in which we're communicating today it's not just uh, uh, the traditional view of the contact center as uh, handling calls there's a, a wide range of communication uh, channels into the business today so we'll hear more about that later uh, and also I think um, we're in an environment where it's not just the frontline contact centre who uh, interact and communicate with customers. You know, we all have a role right across uh, organisations uh, to serve and, uh, and interact with customers today. And uh, you know, there are some great uh, tools and uh, technologies available that you know, start to break down those barriers and those silos that have been there in the past so that we are uh, working cohesively across an organisation uh, to service uh, uh, service customers. Um, today what we're going to do is, um, I'll, I'll just set the scene uh, briefly uh, uh, around some of the changes in the contact centre and then I'll hand over to, uh, to Morris to uh, really look through uh, uh, some of the steps that you can undertake to measure uh, customer experience. You know, this is a term that we're hearing a lot about today. And uh, so, you know, what is customer experience? What does it mean? How can you understand it? And how can you uh, uh, implement strategies to support the organisation? Uh, we'll then hand over to Alex to uh, look at uh, social uh, media and, uh, you know, how the digital world is. Uh, changing how we communicate, so uh, there's some great tools available to support this. Uh, we'll then be taking uh, coffee, so we'll be back outside again, uh, so uh, you know, a caffeine fix to uh, keep us all fresh. Uh, and then I'll talk through uh, really Britannic, what are we doing uh, to uh, join the different technologies together, so our middleware uh, applications, but also uh, the deployment methods and the approach that we take. Uh, we'll then um, move into the demonstration suite, which is at the back of the building, uh, with Mitel to get the opportunity to look at um, their technology and uh, you know see some demonstrations of this stuff uh, working in action. So, uh, looking around the room, I recognise a number of you. So, already know there's some existing uh, Mitel uh, users in the room. Can I have a show of hands to see how many people do use Mitel? Okay, so there's already uh, uh, you know, a majority of the audience who are familiar with the technology, so it'd be a great opportunity to see uh, how this is developing and new features and, uh, and releases that are being uh, provided to market. And for those of you who haven't seen Mitel or don't use Mitel, you'll be able to see uh, what they're offering and uh, how potentially it could fit in. Um, we'll take lunch uh, later on and uh, again that'll be back out uh, uh, in the area there. And uh, you know the whole point of today is yes to see some things, yes to hear about uh, you know how technology and uh, uh, working practices are changing and they're really coming together. But also it's to talk to each other, you know, uh, talk about the challenges, talk about the ideas, talk about what's being uh, implemented, <coughs> and ask questions. So we're on hand um, uh, to help and uh, to ask questions that you may have either throughout the session, uh, the presentations as we go, or at the breaks and, uh, and over lunch. So that's uh, the overview of uh, what we're going to cover off. Hope you find it uh, interesting, informative, and uh, you know, gives you some, maybe some new ideas and, uh, and thresh, uh, fresh thoughts as well. So Britannic, for the few of you who don't know us, um, we've been in business uh, for just over 30 years now, set up in 1984, so very, very well established. Uh, recognised for our skills around uh, uh, the contact centre marketplace. Uh, so, you know, we support, in fact, uh, it's, it's around about 200 uh, uh, contact centres now. We support customers across the depth and breadth of the UK. And in fact, we've got uh, clients now across uh, over 20 countries worldwide as well. 
Uh, we've won lots of awards uh, for our uh, solutions that we deliver to market, both uh, in our integration capabilities and our middleware technology that we've created that we provide to market, but also in our ability to deliver this technology uh, uh, to customers from uh, world-leading manufacturers such as, uh, uh, such as Mitel. Um, in fact, we were awarded uh, Mitel's Contact Center Partner of the Year uh, a few weeks ago now, which is really great and again reflective of, uh, of what we're doing in the marketplace. So lots of customers, lots of experience, <coughs> really born from what is a, a long time in the industry. And, and from our perspective, the thing that's really important to us is it's not just about selling stuff, it's not about selling the technology, it's about investing the time with customers to understand where they're at, where they want to get to, and how and where improvements can be made by blending technology and, uh, and supporting the business. And part of what we're going to look at today is how we work with the uh, Customer Experience Foundation and it's uh, the process that we go through to audit the uh, contact centre and the technology, but also look at the, uh, the customer experience. And there's a whole load of uh, uh, metrics that Morris will talk through. And uh, you know, our approach really is to blend uh, the customer experience audit and strategy with the right technology to bring it together uh, to give you a path for the future. So contact centres, uh, very important uh, and uh, you know there's a lot of people that work within the contact centre industry, so over a million people in the UK, uh, handling uh, just over 8 billion uh, uh, calls a year. Predominantly uh, still inbound contact centres, but uh, again, you know, great technology that blends and, and, uh, and provides the mix between inbound and outbound. Uh, still predominantly, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people focused on the, the telephone call as, uh, as the main channel into the contact centre. Uh, but what we've seen over the last few years, really, is the huge growth in email into the contact centre. So again, you know, what technologies, what approach do you have? to really blend these different channels together. So more latterly, we've been working with customers to introduce uh, email, multimedia into the contact center um, so that you don't have different systems and different silos and different teams managing these different strands of communication, you know, all with different uh, service levels and reporting metrics because, you know what, it starts to become hard to run, uh, you know, a service center and operation uh, and then really deliver upon that customer experience that people are looking for. Uh, so this was uh, taken out of re uh, some research that I saw um, just before we ran our Convergence Summit back in November last year. And again, it's looking at the different channels uh, that uh, people are using into the contact uh, centre. So no surprise, uh, phone and email, uh, the main uh, channel types. Um, but what we're seeing is, uh, is the growth of new uh, communication type so web chat really starting to see this uh, this increase these days and of course the role of social media and the one at the very end is video and I think uh, you know as we move forward over the coming years we're going to see more and more uh, requirements and opportunity for video uh, interaction to the contact center as well okay so the technology is changing it's evolving the channels are changing and evolving as well uh, and also customer expectations continue to evolve. You know, part of what you'll hear from Morris is about how um, customers use, uh, you know, technology and, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the wide range of, uh, of, of, of communication channels that are available to people in their, in their personal life. And what we've seen over a period of time, you know, there's this great term of the consumerization of IT, how um, people are using their experiences in the personal life and wanting to bring them into the into the workplace. So, convenience, you know, we want it to be easy, we want to be treated as individuals, as consumers. There's this, definitely this always on culture, the 24 seven uh, working environment that we're all in today. And, and then it's the ability of actually accommodating choice. And, and certainly, you know, what becomes frustrating is if you communicate one, via one channel, uh, so if I pick the phone up and I've spoken to someone, I send an email, and there's no link between these different uh, communication strands. So I'm having to start the process over again each time I contact an organisation, right? So it's about how we join this together and how we provide 
um, really a joined up uh, approach to customer service and interaction. And the thing that I would say is that um, you know, there's this, this term here, transferable experiences, is that um, if I experience, uh, you know, talk, talk to a particular uh, organisation, I get a really good uh, customer experience. I think that I've been handled very well. That becomes my new benchmark. That becomes my level of expectation for my next interaction. And it doesn't matter whether that next interaction is with a completely different business in a completely different industry. That's my expectation. Uh, some of the key factors uh, affecting customer satisfaction, and again, we'll hear more about this throughout, throughout the day. Uh, first call resolution, you know, always been a, a big topic. It was, uh, you know, certainly within the public sector, there was, a, you know, KPIs and targets set around uh, uh, first call resolution. Um, you know, access to uh, knowledgeable, polite, friendly people when you, when you actually get through to a contact centre not wanted to be put into uh, long queue times, you know, uh, you don't want complex uh, IVR menus that you're going to go and get lost in because again that becomes incredibly frustrating and uh, you know again this concept of if I phone somebody in the contact centre I'm talking to them and they actually need to pass me to someone else the last thing I want to do is to start that whole conversation again you know why should I if, if if I'm a customer and uh, I've just spent the last 10 minutes explaining what I'm looking for, why should I have to go back to, uh, back to go and start all over again? So, you know, th th there can be a lot of frustration in how people interact with uh, contact centres, but there's also great opportunity uh, to improve and differentiate as well. So, some of the main uh, pain points and issues. Uh, how do we improve the quality and, and performance, you know, customer experience, uh, you know, if customer is king, customer experience, uh, uh, you know, is, is the new watchword today. Um, how do we maximise efficiency and, uh, and operation? And I think part of what we really should be looking at is how do we reduce the um, uh, complexity in how we serve customers? How do we make it easier for people to do business with us? Because do you know what? That's a, a two-fold benefit. It's better for the customers, uh, they get a better experience and service, and it's better for us as an organization because we use less resource, it's more profitable. Um, so we're talking to a lot of people are looking at incorporating multiple channels. You know, there's this term channel shift, you know, how do we move from the phone to, uh, to digital uh, options uh, to reduce the, uh, reduce the cost to serve. But I think part of this should be looking at what's an appropriate channel, you know, what are the appropriate ways of communicating with people? Because there were, you know, uh, the internet only banks uh, a, a number of years ago, and you know what, that's great, but the, the flip side of it is, if I, you know, I'm, I'm a person, I wake up the next day, and if I actually want to talk to somebody, and I can't get hold of them, and I've gone through the website to try and find a number, and I can't speak to anyone, how frustrated do I become? So the ability of actually providing a blended experience and choice for people is really important. And of course, with all of that, we, we're faced with compliance requirements today. We're looking at uh, HR laws and how we support and manage and get the best out of people. And importantly, we're looking at the uptime and the availability of the technology, because if this becomes the hub of our customer contact, it's got to be available. Lots of traditional uh, metrics in the contact centre and uh, you know, certainly we're working with customers to challenge uh, what have been the, uh, the metrics and the way you measure uh, effectiveness of the, uh, the contact centre. Moving from what have traditionally been uh, telephone based uh, metrics and measurements uh, to really support the world that we're in today which is multi-channel uh, and, uh, and, and ultimately on, omni-channel communication.